Liam Petroska, I'm the Digital Banking Manager at NASA Federal Credit Union. Uh, I'm kind of the main product owner for digital banking, uh, so I joined there about two years ago to help lead an RFP, find a new platform, and then find something cool to build on top of. You know, really the focus, especially with Alchemy going forward, is going to be managing a roadmap. Um, the biggest change that we made was we went member-centric um, from our account-centric platform, and that's a huge change for members, and so you have to make sure that the employee base knows how to explain things. So members are going to see things they didn't used to see before, but with that comes a lot of benefits of not having multiple logins and things like that. So, yeah, the biggest focus for this week really truly was getting people in the platform, make sure they're going through the right flows, conversion goes well. Um, and it all has. It has gone incredibly smooth um, for what is a very hard and difficult thing to do in this industry. I think from my perspective, the, the Alchemy KPIs are tracked during launch, so adoption rate, login rate, um, new registrations, things like that, like all those are incredibly valuable um, to make sure that, that that rate is in line with what Alchemy would expect. You know, NASA really hasn't done a large-scale digital banking implementation in quite a while, so it's Alchemy that has the metrics, honestly, of what to expect. A big thing for me, even though it seems kind of small, um, was our App Store ratings. So our previous apps, I mean, had like one point something, like it was a horror show. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, being able to go into the, the launch and actually see Apptentive and some of the other things go from that to iOS is like 4.7, you know, in a, matter, in a matter of days. It seems small, but for a brand new member that's never gotten our app before, to see that instead of just negative reviews all over the place makes a world of difference in the first impression. So that was really huge too, I think. It's funny, from our perspective, like Alchemy was kind of the Ferrari option when we, uh, when we did the RFP, honestly. And so it was awesome to be able to see NASA really feel like that was a worthwhile, like we were gonna go big, we're gonna get the Ferrari this time around. Um, and so and now that the launch is done, it's really like, how do you use the Ferrari as best you can? You know, so you've got the platform, it's standing up, now what do you do with it? And so I think for us, it's a lot of personalization inside the platform. It's making sure that we're using the marketing and the targeting <clears throat> to the best of our ability and then seeing what other partnerships Alchemy has ready to go um, that were not options before or, or would have been custom development for us. And so I think not only having the user experience of Alchemy be a huge leap um, from what we had before, but it just gives us a platform to be able to build and deliver faster um, than what we had. For us, there's going to be a lot of questions of what can we do, you know, and so I, what I foresee is probably us bringing to the table a lot of kind of problem statements or, hey, this is something we want to enable, how best should we do it? You know, and being able to get that feedback from from Alchemist of saying like, hey, you can provide that with this vendor, we can help get that set up for you, or hey, use the SDK or use these APIs, you can build that yourself. So it'll probably just be more of that, again, as we're trying to prioritize and get that roadmap going. Mm -hmm.